Homemade macaroni and cheese can be made a million and one ways. I realize not everyone likes a garlicky, extra flavorful mac and cheese. Some people just like the simple taste of the cheese, noodle, a butter, and just a little hit of flavor. If that is you, then this is a recipe for you. started we are going to get a large pot i am putting in 12 cups of plain water into my pot i am also going to add two full tablespoons of this chicken bouillon if you have a different type of chicken bouillon just try to climb as close as two tablespoons as you can for today's cheeses i am going to be using pepper jack extra sharp cheddar mild cheddar vermont white cheddar and swiss now you can do any variation you want, but like I said, I always recommend to at least do some extra sharp, white sharp and Swiss. Everything else you can modify. Okay, I have all of my cheese shredded and I'm gonna go in with my elbow noodles. If you like a more cheesier macaroni and cheese, then just add four cups of the noodles. If you like less cheese, then you wanna do five cups. In my family, we have those who like theirs extra cheesy and some who don't like a lot of cheese. Once your noodles are boiled, I boil them to al dente about eight to nine minutes. Go ahead and strain them and then I return the noodles back to the pot. To that, I added a half cup of melted butter. Go and um, just kind of mix that in together. You want to kind of get this done while the noodles are still hot. Um, the process is going to go pretty quick, so make sure you're moving fast. To that, you want to add six ounces of softened cream cheese as well as a half cup of sour cream. Once you have that in your pot, go ahead and give that a mix until it's nice and well blended. From there, we're going to go in with one half cup of heavy cream. I just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. Like I said in the beginning, guys, this is just a very basic macaroni and cheese. So we're going to go in with just salt and pepper. We're doing one teaspoon of ground black pepper and then two teaspoons of salt. Because we did season our water when the noodles boiled, there is some additional flavor, but for this simple recipe, we are just doing salt and pepper. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? From there, we're gonna add a little more than half of our shredded cheese. Also, I meant to mention this. I had about 40 ounces of cheese that I used for this recipe. This recipe is going to yield about a half pan of macaroni, which feeds 20 to 25 people, depending on the portion size. So I'll also make sure to include that when I list the um, the recipe in the description box. But yes, get about half, a little over half of the cheese that we shredded. And you want to mix that in with your macaroni and cheese. Now, definitely make sure you're tasting throughout the process um, we are going to add some liquid to this but you do want your mixture to be a little more saltier than you want the final product because once we add our liquid it will dilute the flavor so once we have our cheese mixed in go ahead with your pan like i said i'm using a half pan if you cater or if you've ordered cater food before and they have half and full pan sizes this pan is about the size of a half pan so once our cheese is mixed in and we have our pan buttered you want to add half of our macaroni mixture do we need space yeah maybe you're brave boy you're my weakness giving we take the love that we make it's my favorite drug too caught up in your love from there, we're gonna take half of our shredded cheese that was left over. 
from earlier and we're going to spread that evenly across the top make sure you spread that first layer of macaroni noodles um, evenly as well on that um, first layer but yeah go ahead and add the other half of that cheese now for our liquid we are going to do a full cup of that heavy cream from earlier as well as one cup of evaporated milk actually make sure you do a full cup don't under measure this matter of fact over measure a little bit you can even do one cup and a tablespoon of each and we're going to whisk that together in a bowl After you get through mixing the cream and the milk, we're going to take half of that mixture and pour it over our first layer of noodles. If you watched my first box macaroni um, recipe, this is kind of the similar steps to the um, final product. Once you've um, added your cream, we're going to add the rest of our noodles to our pan and instead of adding the cream on the top layer of cheese we're going to add the cream on the noodles and then we'll top it with our final layer of cheese and make sure you do one more taste here because if you still need a little more salt or pepper you can add it into the rest of the um, cream and milk mixture <clears throat> I was satisfied with where mine was like I said make sure it's a little saltier than you want your final product because this um, cream does dilute the flavor so once you add the rest of your cream we're gonna top it with the rest of our cheese now I didn't use all of it there was probably maybe an ounce or two left over that I did not use um, but I did use most of it so once I added the rest of my cheese I went and I sprinkled some paprika on top and some slices of butter make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees you're gonna bake this for 25 to 30 minutes maybe even 35 it just depends on your oven um and once it's done there it is nice and golden and bubbly and you guys know i have to do my crust test you guys i'm so mad because i did not get this full recording i thought i did but i didn't check and i thought the camera was recording the full way but it stopped but you can see how moist that macaroni and cheese was when i put my spoon in here's the interior it's nice and creamy and firm you don't need to use eggs or roux if you don't want to it's all about preference i personally don't like making a roux um but if you do do your thing if not then definitely give this recipe a try i went and plated it with our dinner but as you can see it's nice and creamy that cream cheese helps it to stay nice and moist even when you warm it up the next day it will still remain nice and creamy all right guys that's my recipe have a great day